All right, let's get the obvious thing out of the way with. I am the law! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Dread. Dread is a very special one because there's a lot of really interesting facets about this movie. Not only is it basically an apology for the Stallone movie back in 1995. Just to be clear, I watched that movie quite a bit when I was a kid. I thought it was entertaining as a child and there are certain parts of it that I do still like, but yes, it is terrible when compared to the comic. This film went so far out of its way to apologize for that movie. Everything from how Garland put the story together to Carl Urban 100% throughout like all of the promotions and while filming the movie said he was never going to take the helmet off and he kept that scowl and that serious attitude throughout all of the filming. And one of the trivia notes about this movie is that when there was a joke that was made that got a lot of people to laugh Everyone was laughing, except Carl, who was giving him that Judge, Stre that Judge Dredd stare. Dredd follows the titular character, played by Carl Urban, along with a rookie, played by Olivia Thurmby, and they are going into one of these mega city blocks. These giant towers, 200 stories tall, with full of people of all sorts of character, but most of them being gang members. They're brought to this building after three people are thrown from the top floor, and they find themselves embroidered into this conspiracy of all of the gang's affiliations inside the building and it becomes a fight for survival not only against the gang members but the residents and even corrupt judges i always find it funny that this movie came out in 2012 considering the raid redemption came out the year prior and both of these movies involve cops trying to survive in a tower full of criminals and they're both really good still have their differences dread really did capture this character that stallone terribly really brought about Urban just oozes this character's absolute, I don't give a fuck what you want, Clint Eastwood, I'm gonna blast you motherfucker mentality throughout the entire movie, and it makes it so engaging from how the film is visually uh, shown through the drug slow-mo. They had to shoot those on really high speed, uh, high frame rate cameras. Um, and as they go through the tower, you see these different facets of criminal life and of civilian life and just how shitty this is. It's not to the absolute end of the world degree like it was in certain parts of the Stallone movie. A representation that you can affiliate with, you can understand, and you can kind of put yourself into that situation. And as they go up more and more, Olivia is this judge who has psychic powers but is also on her test and she kind of gets more and more affiliated to the literal black and white of judge life to the point where she has to execute someone who is technically speaking holding a weapon but not in a, an offensive means like this guy's already beaten the shit there is this morality for her and she is kind of us in this particular situation following along with dread on the top of the tower is mama played by lena headley who she's just vile in this movie she's such a vile evil character in this movie and it's how do you plead <sighs> defense noted but she's also this don't take shit attitude villain who's like, oh, we got a problem. Let's deal with it in the most grandiose way we can. Just this back and forth between the two, the hunter becoming the prey and then vice versa, all the way up to its dramatic conclusion. Dread is 90 so on minutes of real entertaining fun. Other interesting aspects about this movie is that it's technically speaking, directed by Pete Travis, but everything about it, including Carl's own interviews, would say to the contrary. <laughs> Apparently, about like halfway through the movie, there was this real big difference between Pete and uh, Alex Garland to the point where Alex basically just directed the whole movie. He ghost directed this movie. Pete has never talked about this movie, at least not in, uh, from what I've seen. And I think that's why this movie does have some slightly tonal issues in how the film is visually represented. The one thing that I would say that might have turned some people off, and sometimes it does for me, is the visual aspect of the film with its color grading. There are certain scenes where it works really, really well, and then there's some that don't fucking work at all. I don't know if they all of a sudden changed the camera they were shooting on, 
or if these were certain scenes that didn't have the budget or didn't get any more money to do any uh, post grading or whatever. But there are scenes that all of a sudden the ISO grain goes through the fucking roof. Sometimes even the quality of the frame rate is through the floor in one particular conversation between uh, Mama and one of her henchmen. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen to a bit where it's like, what, did you guys run out of money <laughs> when it came to finishing the movie? Another thing that kind of bothers me is this scene. Wait. Wait. Are you kidding me? Did he just say wait? I can kind of get what's going on here, but there are parts where I'm like, did you really need to drag it out that long? The Judge Dredd finally gets on the wrong end of a gun. And what he says is wait. Wait for me to change my mind. Wait for another two or three seconds of life because you're so fucking weak. You just can't stand to see it end. Very small gripes. Overall, Dread is a fantastic comic movie that unfortunately never got the attention it deserved and did not get the box office return it deserved. And unfortunately, it's this kind of movie that producers and studios will be like, hey, look, they were accurate to the source material and it didn't work. Dread still is a phenomenal movie 12 years later. I'm so amazed that I'm saying that at the time of this review. Got a great performance from Carl. Olivia's great in it. The effects are great in it, especially for the budget, like the slow-mo whole shit. That's all really well done. It's a very simplistic story, sure, but I still feel that it does everything that it needs to do well sure there are some color grading issues sure there are some maybe similarities to a lot of other movies sure there are some maybe aspects of the movie you kind of wish got a little bit more attention than they could have the whole overall movie from top to <laughs> from from bottom to top is a thrill ride in the end i'm gonna give dread a five out of seven really enjoy this movie i really like this movie i think that you guys should definitely check it out anyways guys by the time you're seeing this, I'm probably home by now, but I hope you guys have enjoyed all the reviews that I've done over the last little while. It's been a bit fun to watch movies that um, some I haven't seen before and some I have and I just never talked about them, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. But aside from that, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.